Yo, yo, it's your boy Jay Boogie back with another video today. Make sure you guys don't forget to like and comment under this video. Definitely like and comment under this video, no doubt about it. So let's get into it for another video today on my top five best small fours from the 2010s era. And who I got at number five, no other than the mid-range shooter. One of the best scorers, bucket getters we've ever seen. Of course, no other than Carmelo Anthony. Uh, pretty much, you know, he was uh, pretty much one of the best scorers in the 2010s. Um, he was a scoring champ during the 2012-2013 season. And, you know, obviously you've seen this clip. You know, once he have a heat check, it's over with because he can make five threes in a row. Coming back, making 12 mid-range shots in a row. That's our jab steps. He one of the best triple threat shooters I've ever seen. Um, you know, then the bully ball in the post, driving in in the lane. You know, but once he get in that heat check moment, bro, like it's unstoppable. He's pure splashing the whole nine, the whole way. And you know, like I said, you know, uh, had a few playoff appearances with the New York Knicks. Um, of course, uh, the best playoff run he had was in the 2012-13 season same season where he was scoring champ where they made it to the i want to say second round of the playoffs and unfortunately they lost to the indiana pacers to paul george so uh you know besides that his body of work turns up just his skill set and almost all appearances all nba appearances you know uh he, he didn't really achieve too much in the 2010s but you know i got i'm always going to give his flowers just you know, for his skill, the game, his, his approach to the game. You know, like I said, man, he's one of the best microwave scorers, best scorers, best scorers in general. And, um, you know, Melo, Melo, oh, I'm, I'm always good at Carmelo Anthony, his flowers. I mean, who, who, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? So, Melo definitely deserves to be number five on my list, no doubt about it. And then who I got number four, the man that started it in Indiana, Paul freaking George. Man, obviously, you seen this clip, man. He was slamming on everybody. He was a pure slasher before he got into this element of scoring, shooting the ball um, throughout his later years in Indiana. But um, dude was dude was just posterizing people. Um, led the Indiana Patriots back to back um, Eastern Conference Finals um, against the Heat, Miami LeBron Heat, and you know, making all defensive teams. Uh, you know. Pretty much being a bright gem for the Indiana Panthers. <clears throat> for the Indiana Panthers when uh, Danny Granger had went down and Paul George stepped up to the occasion, you know, and it, he took over ever since, um, you know, with the Panthers making those incredible back-to-back -back conference finals appearances. And then, you know, heading into OKC, man, pretty much his last year with OKC, pretty much his second year playing with, under Russell, Russell Westbrook. Man, he was killing it. He was in his bag, pure, all-around skill set. You know, offense, defense. Man, he was doing it all. I think he finished third, and um, in the MVP race that year. And that's pretty much his his best season during the 2010s was that particular season, 2018, 2019 season in OKC. And man, like Paul George just just, just became an all-around two-way player. Um, his his, his offense game got more fluid, ball handling. Shooting ability, shooting the three. He always been a good mid-range shooter, but his three ball was much better. Um, still uh, attacking the rim with aggression. So Paul George was 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 per prime element in OKC, and a lot of people don't talk about that a lot because of his great run with Indiana. But his short stint with OKC, man, he was a dog. <laughs> like literally, he was a dog, man. And unfortunate, you know back-to-back -back years, first-round exits, but just how he played in OKC, what he did, especially in that second season, was top-notch. One of the best highlight reels you will ever watch. So I would definitely look that up. <laughs> Most, no, no, no doubt about it. And who I got number three, no other than the claw. Board man gets paid. Kawhi freaking Leonard. You know, man, I, I could talk about him in so many ways just because uh, Fred's got to 
uh, to the Spurs in 2011. Um, he just known to be a good defender, uh, a decent offensive player. His offensive movement was kind of stiff. And then you elevate to going to the finals, lock it down LeBron, pretty much being the best player on that team. And on the finals in, uh, against the Heat, uh, we, you know, obviously with the Spurs, and he won finals MVP. And then the next season, winning back-to-back defensive player of the years in 2015 and 2016. I mean, Kawhi Leonard, man, was, was, was a body of work. Good resume with the Spurs, you know, and then, and then 2016, 17. That's why his offensive game has gotten hella fluid and more, you know, more versatility. But then, unfortunately, he dealt with an injury. He dealt with against uh, OKC. I want to say I think it was in the Western Conference Finals, I believe. But you know, I that was on the verge of putting out Kevin Durant and the, uh, Steph Curry and the Warriors that year. But when he went down with the injury, everything went downhill over there. And then heading to Toronto, you know, he did he, he did his thing. You really see his offensive bag fully. Mid range attacking at the rim, um, his finishing ability, defense was still the same way. I mean, what he did in Toronto for Toronto for that one year, nobody else can say that going to another country and winning them a championship <laughs> in Canada is 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 crazy. And that playoff run for the Raptors was 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 memorable. <clears throat> it was one of the best playoff runs I've, I've seen uh, when I was in college. And you know, when I went on went to the finals and being going to say Warriors. So, I mean, Kawhi Leonard with the Raptors is, is, is one of the best things, highlight reels you've ever seen. Like I said, that's when his offensive game was fully polished, fully polished enough. And then, of course, he got to the Clippers and enhanced even more. But Kawhi Leonard deserved to be number three on my list. And number two, no other than the Slim Reaper, KD Kevin freaking Durant. We know. You know about him when I say he pretty much was the five best players in the 2010s. Um, you know, with he, with his resume, his body of work in OKC, top notch, none better. Uh, you know, pretty much one of the best, even not the best scorer in the 2010s. Uh, had multiple seasons of uh, scoring champs. Uh, you know, won MVP, went to the finals, uh, conference finals appearances. You know, and then, of course, his game. Mid-range pull-up, the Hezzy pull-up, one of the best Hezzy pull-ups ever. Some say arguably he has the best Hezzy pull-up. No argument there because you can't block his jump shot just like Tracy McGrady's. And then, you know, how he uh, he's so poised offensively. His approach to the game is just smooth sailing. One of the best handles at the forward position. You know, one of the best smooth scorers. And, you know, Kevin Durant is just a pure hooper. And then looking at his Golden State Warriors highlights, go to a team that was already, you know, a world championship team, and then automatically being the best player, you know, that 2017 AT run, the second year in Golden State was top notch, you know, winning back to back Finals MVP 2017, 2018, knocking off LeBron back to back years, and, you know, still same player, same, same way, same approach, you know, I mean, like I said, man, his 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 resume is incredible for the twenty tens and you know, he did his thing and you know, K D was being K D just being a pure bucket getter and um, you know, like I said, we despite a lot of people controversial take about his two rings, I mean if okay I mean, if uh go state didn't have K D, I don't know if, if Golden State Warriors would have won more championships. Finals appearances, maybe, but who knows. And then number one, no other than the man himself, King James, LeBron James. Uh, that 2017 18 run with the Cavaliers is one of the best things you've ever seen in your life. Uh, pretty much a goaded season for him during his second stint in Cleveland. He was just just pure dominant that season, man. It was incredible. And, you know, obviously you seen his highlight in his highlight film. You know, he was just doing his thing. Passing, shooting threes, attacking the rim, all around bunch. So, that's my top five best players from the 2010s at the small forward position. If you like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. I love you guys. Let's keep this trend growing. Jay Boogie is out.